Welcome to the online session of Power Plant Engineering. My name is Vishal Acharya. Today we will discuss about the introduction of steam nozzle, type of nozzle and relationship between area, velocity and pressure in a nozzle flow. This, this topic is related to our chapter steam nozzle. First, what is the nozzle? Nozzle is passage of the varying the cross section which convert the heat energy, pressure energy of steam into the kinetic energy. The main objective of nozzle designed to produce the highest velocity of steam jet for a given inlet condition of the steam. Here the first steam is enter at inlet condition with higher pressure and the steam is spanned in inlet to outlet and outlet at lower pressure. The steam is expanded here pressure energy and heat energy is converted into the jet energy means the kinetic energy. The kinetic energy is supplied to the turbine blade and turbine is rotated. It is the main objective of the steam turbine. And here nozzle attack the steam blade at various angles is possible for the nozzle design. Application of nozzle in various sections like the jet propulsion section, spray sections, and steam turbine section and turbo jet section are also used for the feed pump, accumulator generators. This is the basic application of the nozzle. The main application is related to our chapter is the steam turbine like impulse line and reaction turbine. The main function of nozzle is increase the velocity of flow like in river hydraulic jets used for the boating purpose and also use the hydraulic turbine here different types of nozzle use. Our next topic is to types of nozzle. Here three types of nozzle available. First is the convergent, second is the divergent and third is the convergent and divergent nozzle. The nozzle type is totally depend upon the flow condition and area. First is the convergent nozzle. In convergent nozzle, cross section of the nozzle decrease continuously from entrance to exit. In the convergent nozzle, the flow of the steam is always the subsonic. Here, what is the subsonic flow? When the member is less than the one is called the subsonic flow. Here, what is the make number? Make number is the ratio of the flow of the steam in nozzle to the sound velocity at this medium in nozzle is called the make number for the nozzle. Simply we said that the steam velocity divided to the sound velocity for the same medium is called the Mach number. Here for the convergent nozzle entering the subsonic flow here and convert to the sonic flow at throat condition. Sonic flow means the, the sound velocity in their medium is equal to the steam flow velocity is called the sonic flow or here sonic flow make number is 1 at throat condition. Our next is the divergent nozzle. The divergent nozzle is the cross section of the nozzle increase continuously from entrance to the exit. So that here in this portion is the throat condition. Here the sonic flow is entered and expanded. Here heat energy is converted more into the kinetic energy. So always in the divergent portion flow is the supersonic means the make number is greater than 1. Our last is the convergent and divergent process. First in the process is the cross section first decrease and then increase. Here the flow is entered at the subsonic and in the convergent portion is converted into the sonic flow at the throat condition and after in the expansion of the steam in the divergent portion here steam converted into the supersonic flow means the here Mach number is greater than 1. So here the totally depend upon the Mach number and area. For the conversion nozzle 
area is decrease for divergent is increase and convergent increase in divergent decrease is convergent divergent nose flow condition here subsonic flow here supersonic flow here entrance flow is subsonic after the source section is supersonic flow this is the basic of the nozzle next is the relationship between area velocity and pressure in nozzle flow here first we assume that here the flow is the steady state adiabatic flow and frictionless here first it c is the velocity p is the pressure and v is the specific volume and a is the area at section 1 same for the at section 2 here c plus c plus delta c is the velocity p plus delta p is the pressure v plus delta v is the specific volume and a plus delta a is the area at section 2 here we consider the flow is the frictionless and steady state and adiabatic so that from the continuity equation we write that for the first section a into c divided by b means the rho ac here rho is the reciprocal of specific volume so we write that ac divided by v here for the section 2 also write the area velocity and the specific volume a plus delta a is the area c plus delta c is the velocity at section 2 and v plus delta v is the specific volume at section 2 here cross multiplication ac into v plus delta v here and a plus delta a c plus delta c into v is the here here we multiply the bracket a into c here a into delta c and delta a into c and delta a into delta c here same for the v into delta c and delta v into a c here we multiply the all bracket in the v so that here delta and delta c is the very small portion so we neglect compared to another terms so that we calculate delta into delta c is zero so that here a c plus a delta c plus c into delta a into v and a c v plus a delta v into c here a c v a c v both side so we neglect them here a c v plus v c delta a plus a d v c here we divided to all the part into a c v so that we write the delta c by c delta a by a and delta v by v here delta c by by c delta a by a minus delta v by v is equal to 0 here the flow is adiabatic and frictionless and energy is constant so first is the flow is adiabatic and frictionless so we write that the adiabatic equation pv raised to n is equal to constant here p is equal to pressure v is equal to specific volume so we write it in logarithmic form is log p plus n log v is equal to v is equal to log e constant here differentiate the all terms we get delta p by p plus and delta v by v is equal to 0 so that we write that in the terms of the delta v by v is equal to minus 1 by n delta p by p from the momentum equation the energy is constant first is the pressure energy v into delta p plus kinetic energy c into delta c plus g into delta z is the potential energy here potential energy both the inlet and outlet level is same so difference is zero so we write that the c into delta c is equal to minus v into delta p so that here delta c by c means the this term is divided by the c square we get the delta c by c is equal to minus v delta p divided by c square so that putting the value of delta v by v and delta c by c in the equation number one we get the answer is the 
delta a by a minus v delta p by square here negative here positive so that this sign is negative same here this sign is negative and negative negative is positive so we get that here negative and negative so positive 1 by n delta p by p is equal to 0 we write in the area term v delta p by c square minus 1 by n delta p by p common out the delta p by p into 1 by n the equation is the npv by c square minus 1 here npv is called the sonic velocity sonic velocity is the velocity of flow or sound in the medium is called the sonic velocity here a is called under root and pv is called sonic velocity we get the delta a by a is called delta p by np is called a square by c square minus 1 here c by a is called to make number velocity of steam to the sound velocity in this medium is called the make number here c square by a square is called to m square we get the equation is the delta a by a is equal to np by delta np into 1 by m square minus 1 so that we also write that delta p by np into 1 minus m square divided by m square here for the nozzle equation nozzle is the delta p by p pressure is decreased and velocity is increased so that delta p by p is equal to negative sign here we add the negative sign here and for the nozzle flow condition first is the nozzle flow is the subsonic so that this term is positive and positive into negative means negative so that here area is decreased so that this type of nozzle is called virgin nozzle when m greater than 1 here this term is the positive sorry this term is the negative negative into negative is positive so that area is the increase so this is called the divergent nozzle when m is equal to 1 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 so area is constant this is called the throat condition in a diffuser delta b by p is equal to positive means the here sign is positive here first the subsonic diffuser means the subsonic flow so that this term is called the positive into positive so that area is increased divergent when m greater than 1 here this term is negative negative into positive is negative so that area is decreased and diffuser type is convergent same for the m is equal to 1 so that diffuser type is to throat area is constant thank you Thank you.